Welcome to this week's DMS Student Newsletter. Station is magic sand, where there are two types of sand. One sand is made with nanotechnology, and the other isn't. And the sand that's made with nanotechnology, like Maya sitting here, the water tries to spread from it and just piles up. And then once the water's gone, the sand remains dry. But with the other sand that's not made with nanotechnology, it uh, um, the color's blue, and the water just seeps through it and makes it all wet. Um, magic sand is used for down by lake shores and ocean shores where um, oil plants are. So if there was ever a oil plant break or oil spill, um, the sand would push the oil back up to the surface and it wouldn't get into the water to injure any sea animals. And then we're going to test the weight of the, or how much the fishing line can hold before it snaps. The nano line held more okay, because it has like little nano filaments inside the line that makes it like united and stronger. Um, we are going to continue working on our project, our rap project, which is a combination of writing a poem about ourselves and um, also using GroovePizza.com and creating our own rhythmic pattern with it. And the purpose of this project is to um, summarize the relationship of African music and its influences on the music you listen to and we listen to today in our country. And so without further ado, you can share your story um, with DMS. My name is Avery and I like the color blue. It makes me happier. How about you? I like that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Hey, I'm Carrie and I like to rap. Not as blind as a bat, but I'm not a cat. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Hey, I'm Dior and I like fat cats. No, it sounds crazy, but that is that. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I'm Little Cook and I like to fry. It makes me feel like I want to cry. Yeah, don't you feel like you want to sizzle? Yeah, yeah, sizzle. Sizzle and then you pop. Hey, I'm Brynn, and if I could turn back time to the good old days, I'd flunk sixth, fifth grade, so no more sixth grade. Hey, I'm Little Z, and I like to swim, so don't beat me, because I have to win. Splash, splash, yeah. Yeah, I like it. Hi, my name is Marissa, and this is Sadie and Caleb, and we're in sixth grade. And for Mr. Lagergren's math class, we decided, well, he decided to do a Talon's eighth birthday party project. Basically, it's where we're planning a party for his nephew, and they at the end, we have a project where we have to do a circle graph, a budget spreadsheet, an order summary, where we get stuff like we go online to Walmart, maybe Target, the dollar store, and we buy some stuff and put it into this spreadsheet, but we're not actually buying it. It's just like an example. So that way, at the end, when we present them, he can choose which one he's going to do for it. I learned that it's really hard to work with the group when you have like a certain amount of time to get it done. What I learned was really how your parents actually do a lot more than you think for them. And through the whole project, we were all about winning. Like, that's all we wanted. But at the end, I realized that sometimes it's not always about just winning and everything. Sometimes you just, as long as you get it done and you're proud of yourself and your group, then you'll be just fine and you don't always have to win. We are in Mr. Olson's 8th grade science class and we are observing rocks. We came up to the maker space to study and observe these different rocks. We took pictures of the rocks and uploaded them into a Google Slides presentation so we can find out the different meanings of each rock. Um, one thing I liked about this project is that we got out of our classroom and went to the maker space. 
Also one thing I liked was that we got to work with partners. I liked how we figured out that rocks have meanings too.